Hey guys, Ranger here, and welcome back to another video, uh, a reaction and review. Uh, this is to the twelfth episode of MLP, uh, which is Discordant Harmony. Now, again, I know I did episode thirteen before I did this episode. I'm sorry, I still haven't managed to find this episode in 720, so I just down. So I finally managed to get it to download the episode in four in 480. So that's what quality I'm just going to watch it in. Uh, so, without further ado, let's begin. Now, I know this features Fluttershine Discord. That's all I know, and I know that much because of how much I've seen the thumbnails trying to find, trying to be able to get this, this to, da to actually download, so, let me adjust my screen. Okay, starting the video in three, two, one, click. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flutters. Care for a carrot ginger sandwich? Oh, you remembered to cut off the crusts for me. Of course <laughs> I did. Of course. I know how you like them. You really do make flutters. the best finger foods. <laughs> what do you say? Excuse me. Oh, I really can't take them anywhere. <laughs> Can I trouble you for another sugar cube? Oh, Flutters. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, but I seem to be out. Well, I can just pop us in some more. Oh, that's all right. I need to go to the market anyway. I have to restock my pantry for our tea party next week. Oh, I never realized how much work you put into hosting these tea parties. <laughs> oh, it's really Okay, nice. who sewed that? No, 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 no. I've been taking advantage of your hospitality for far too long. It's high time I do something about it. What to do? What to do? You can go to the market. Why don't you host the next tea party? I've got it. Why don't I host the next tea party at my place? Hey, your place? That's my idea. Why didn't I see that coming? <laughs> So fluttered, You've been I hanging around know. Pinky, haven't you? What do you think of my brilliant, genius, amazing idea of having the next tea party at my place? Are you sure? I wouldn't want you to go through any trouble. You trouble? Never! Discord of I Harmony. <laughs> then count me in. I'm already All looking flutters. forward to it. Me too. Fluttershy's just adorable I'm in this so episode. Excited. I can't wait. No. Really you left the water running. Can't. How about we have the tea party tomorrow afternoon? Sounds good to me. You know, Discord, I've never been to your house before. Well, that's okay, because I've never hosted a tea party before. <laughs> oh, I've never hosted a tea party before. That moment so whenever you realize. You just Thank you amped so up. Much for the tea and nibblies, but I really must be going. Uh, Discord, before you go, would you mind helping me tidy up? <laughs> there you go, back to normal, just the way you like it. See you tomorrow. I can't wait. <laughs> Fluttershy's just adorable. Okay. Is so? Since Fluttershy always goes out of her way to host the oh perfect boy. tea party for me, how do I make my tea party for her even more perfect? I'm sorry, dearie. Were you talking to me? Actually, madam, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so I'm not talking to you. <laughs> it's for Fluttershy. Oh, all right. No more holes, though. You have to knock this tea party out of the park for her. She was our first. You know they could have put barbed wire on that for a Negan reference from The Walking Dead. She makes us want to be draconicus. Some people would get it. Some people would not. Best of everything. Of course, I should get her the best of everything. Question: Has anyone done a comic yet with this cord as Negan? Anyone? I thought you were talking to. No time. I'm off to prepare a tea party worthy of Fluttershy. Jetpack? Excuse me. Oh wow, I love her is design. This where Fluttershy usually buys her tea. Why, yes, it is. 
Oh, okay, beautiful. I love her already. I'll She's adorable. Your company tomorrow, so I love, I love the candelabra. Best tea, please. Something especially special. I'm sure Fluttershy would enjoy some of our rose hip green tea. Oh, She's adorable. I love her. Does it decorate your hips? I love this roses, nice little shop. Are you green? Uh, neither. It just your mean good. one, How Mr. Grinch. Pass. You really are a heel. Now that sounds promising. What does it sing? I'm partial to something upbeat. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Again, it's just tasty, like all of our tea here. I just thought so, of like smooth criminal. This is just tea you simply drink. Uh huh. Oh, it seems that I got here just in time. Oh, singing ginseng. I'll take it. Are you sure you're friends with Fluttershy? You seem so very different from her. Well, of course we're friends. Excitable. She gets me, and you obviously do not. Are you sure you're friends, Miss Fluttershy? <laughs> the very nerve. I'm sorry, do you validate? <laughs> Hello? Uh, can I help you find something? Yes, you can. She's also adorable. Your finest tea set, please. I want only the best for my friend Fluttershy. Uh... You're friends with Fluttershy? <laughs> yes. I love her design. Georgie, clerk, as well as her voice, as well as the last character. Sure, I'm so looking at fan art of these characters. A, bit, well, more but I'll have a peacock. You know we're besties, and that's why I need the best <laughs> tea set. <laughs> uh, perhaps then you'd be interested in our classic tea for two set. Again, she's adorable. A teapot that just pours tea? How positively dreadful. But that's all teapots are supposed to do. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Much better. Don't wrap it. I'll walk it home. <laughs> oh! I thought of I thought of Mr. Scrooge the there because the that made me think of the money pile and in Mickey's party. Derpy! Oh, decorations, of course. Mickey's, uh, in Mickey's Christmas Carol. Viva Pinata. Uh, but not nearly. Viva Pinata. I never watched the show, but it was just... <laughs> oh, better. Oh, I'll need napkins. I'll simply make them. I, well, I could, or... No, I've got nothing. How do I make these better? What should I do? I... Make them, make them glow. Oh, That's cool. Good enough for Fluttershy. Should I make them fly? Glow, fly, and oh, and fold. Glow, fly, fold into fun shapes. Perhaps. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Discord. Pinky. Are you okay? Pinkie Pie, just the pony I need. As the party pony and Fluttershy's close but not best friend, I need your advice. I'm hosting a tea party for her, and it has to be perfect. No, it has to be even better than perfect. Oh, Discord, you're way overthinking things. <laughs> All you have to do is make Fluttershy feel comfortable. It should be pretty easy for you. You know her so well. <laughs> and that's why you're the party expert. Thank you, Pinkie Pie. I feel so much better now. Eh, what I do? Excuse me, where can I find the glowing, flying, self-folding napkins? <laughs> Make Flutters high feel. Oh, we're Make in the ghost zone feel from feel Danny Phantom. Comfortable, comfortable. Well, I mean that shouldn't be a problem. I love that effect. That's <laughs> What's adorable? Well that might be a problem. This is such a departure from the origin from the beginning with this chord. Maybe it's not as bad as I think. Maybe not a bad thing, I like it. Comfortable having a tea party here. Oh, that's a pool. I thought that was a portal to another dimension. That bad? No, worse. Fluttershy would never be comfortable here. What have you done? I think it's hilarious. Like this is like his logical side. Different and special, like me. 
but all I did Which was make it Which I didn't really know he had. Weird, like me. What if those ponies at the tea shop in the china shop were right? What if Fluttershy says how crazy this place is and realizes how different we are and then doesn't want to be friends anymore? We can fix this. Time to call in the team. Seriously. Okay, Chief. This music makes you think of Fantasia. What to do, what to do, what to do. Oh, got it. We know Fluttershy, and we know what she likes. First of all, we need to get rid of all the new stuff. You heard him. Strike the new stuff. What new stuff? Oh. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. Ooh, I love this. I love this piano music. Bats? Piñatas hate bats. Just when? Enjoy your all expense paid trip around Equestria. Oh! Well done, everybody, but there's still. I need to go back and check that icon. Did you have to just wrap I didn't get around. We need to make this place more Fluttershy and less, well, me. One thing I know about my dear friend is that she loves comfy chairs, but not on the ceiling. And I'm almost certain she likes stairs that lead somewhere. You have no upstairs? Oh, well, okay. And although we've never discussed it, I'm pretty sure Fluttershy likes gravity. Okay, fellas. This is a good start, but stand back. Let me show you how it's done. We just need some of this. And a little of that. Nice. But... And a whole lot of those. Wow. Simplistic. Phew. Okay. How boring. I mean normal. Thank you. Good job. The window treatments are perfectly unexceptional. But we're not done yet. You don't mean... Mm-hmm. Makeover! <laughs> Hating it. Oh, no, 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 please, no. Gosh, no. Fuck. Nice. Wait a minute! They all got phones! Oh my god. They got, they all, they've all got phones, man! Cell phones! Seriously? And Equestria. Of course, it's Discord. Okay, let's give these conversation cards a whirl. <clears throat> it is very nice to see you today. <laughs> Have you read any good books lately? Your garden looks positively lovely. Oh, oh, quite strange. For the first time in my life, I don't feel quite strange. In fact, I feel completely normal. Everything is finally perfect for Fluttershy. And just in time. How are you going to get her there? Oh, never mind. Okay. Discord. I'm so excited to finally see where you live. Greetings, just friend. don't stray too far off, for, off the in. lawn. You'll go off the lawn. Uh, oh. She was expecting something more exciting, and she kind of feels this is a bit more amiss? boring. Um, no, no, not at all. It's just not what I expected. It's quite lovely. Please have a seat. I think it's a, I think it's really sweet that Discord wants to go through all this trouble to impress Fluttershy. I think you'll oh. be quite pleased with the green tea. He's going through all this trouble just to make her happy. Just to make her feel at home. Does it actually turn us green? Is it really envious of the other teas? What to do, what to do? <laughs> uh, well, it tastes delicious. Oh, okay. This is really cute. What particularly nice weather we're having. Yes. Yes, we are. 
It did rain the other day, however. And no uh, music right here just really makes it sing. It really does. Particularly nice. As I previously mentioned. Would you care for some milk toast? Uh, Discord, you don't seem to be yourself today. Are you feeling all right? Whatever do you mean? Well, it's just what you're wearing and also what you're saying and also the way you're saying it and um, <laughs> pretty much everything else. Oh, dear Fluttershy, worry not. I can assure you that this for the is first really time, good. I'm feeling perfectly normal. Now, let me top you off. Oops. Butterfingers, how embarrassing. You're... Uh, what's going on? Hand is disappearing. Or your claw, I sorry. I have no idea. Wait, what? You're fading! Discord, you're starting to fade away! Oh, you don't say. Have you read any good books lately? Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, oh my crap. You mean to tell me if you don't cause any bit of chaos, you fade into... And you fade into Have obscurity. Scones? They're positively delectable. The secret is in the extra butter. Whoa, that's. What is wrong with you? You're acting so normal, which is not so normal for you. Well, whatever do you mean? This is just me being me. No, it's not. It's you being like every pony else. <gasps> You're a creature of pure chaos! Being normal is destroying you! Oh, how interesting! That reminds me of something I heard at the market today. Stop it! Please! You need to go back to being your not normal, normal self! Quick, Discord, uh, do something chaotic before it's too late! <laughs> Please! Do something chaotic? I'll try. Oh, oh crap, oh crap! Not good. I guess it's up to me. Uh, okay, all right. How about? Uh, uh... Oh no! I tipped over that cup. That's pretty chaotic, right? Mm. Oh dear. Uh, oh boy. What if I... <laughs> oh my! Talking with food in my mouth after taking a bite from every sandwich. How wacky! <laughs> Doing anything for you? Okay, hmm, maybe I need to start thinking like you. Oh, what would Discord do? Well, I guess he'd probably make another version of himself to bounce ideas off of. But one wouldn't be enough. He'd need more. Way more. Toast. Hey there, Fluttershies. Any ideas on how to Discord up this tea party? Hi, Fluttershy. Thanks for asking. First of all, you gotta redecorate this place. I mean, this is where Discord lives. And you're telling me there aren't any stairs that lead to nowhere? On it! She knows him so... That's cute. She knows him so well. Like, li literally, nobody knows Discord like Fluttershy. And I really enjoy this dynamic. Better, but it still needs something. Now that's more like it! <gasps> it's working! Okay, what else? Furniture on the ground? So predictable! Let's put them where they don't belong! I'm kind of worried whenever those nails give... Oh my gosh. I, I would. Hey, what? I wish that we had the kind of mail that they do in Equestria. It's a lot quicker. Who wants to be tethered to the ground when you can do this? Whoa! Now this is exactly what I was hoping for. This is what you were hoping for? 
But this is the complete opposite of your tea parties. I wouldn't expect you to throw a tea party the way I would. We're different. I know. I was afraid that if you saw exactly how different we are, you wouldn't want to be friends anymore. What? Why would you ever think that? And cue many heart attacks at that don't moment. Don't make sense to any pony else. That may be true, but we make sense to me. I never would have thought to make singing ginseng before I met you. But you opened me up to so many more possibilities and impossibilities. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I like you because you're so different from me. You do? <laughs> of course I do, silly. Besides, what's discord without a little chaos? Well, in that case, I certainly don't need to be wearing this. Oops! <laughs> I forgot that I still had this on. I'm not even... <laughs> now, about that tea party. You know, your garden really is looking lovely. Why, thank you. They're upside down, aren't they? I also couldn't help but notice that you need a refill. Wow. It really That's adorable. Is nice having you here. I'm happy to be here, and I really do like your place because it's so you. Why, thank you, Fluttershy. Now, how about we try some of those delicious looking sandwiches? Oh, you read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> adorable okay this was a really sweet episode this was a really cute episode and it's very different I, I mean it's very very unique it's definitely not like anything we've seen before and it's like it's really cute it's <laughs> it's a very different contrast like it's so man thinking back to um <clears throat> thinking back to the beginning of season two <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> Thinking back to the beginning of season two, whenever Discord first made his debut, and all he wanted to do was cause complete chaos. He wanted to take over Equestria and just cause complete and utter chaos. That was what he wanted to do. That was what he was about. However, Fluttershy was the one that she was the one that opened that door to his heart. She was the one, the the only one that was able to open that door to Discord's heart and open him up to the possibility of friendship. And whenever Discord, pardon me, uh, was turned back into, pardon me, whenever Discord was transformed from stone and Fluttershy, even then, Fluttershy was able to trick Discord. She was pretty much trying sheet whoops hang on a minute okay there we go geez for some reason it said it couldn't play it um anyway and the Fluttershy pretty much baited discord then into making a choice whether he wanted actual friendship or whether he wanted chaos and discord realized that he wanted friendship something that he never realized that he wanted before which was very very unique and it's so different. Like, it's very, very interesting. And Discord opened himself up to that. And Discord has changed. Discord, ha I mean, he's still about chaos. He's still the typical, uh, you know, he's still the typical uh, loves chaos Discord. But he's more calm. He's more toned down some than what he was before. Yeah, he still loves chaos and doing things crazy, just having a crazy nature, you know, crazy way of, of doing things, but it's him, it's Discord, yet at the same time, he's also calm about it, and he's more, he has a more logical side, a more logical way of thinking about things, especially whenever it comes to, um, especially whenever it comes to Fluttershy, yes, Flu yes, Discord is always usually the one that thinks outside the box, and inside the box. He thinks both inside and outside at the same time. Discord has a very unique way of 
looking at things that of doing things he's pretty much like <clears throat> okay he's like the second equestrian version of Deadpool um, and he is able to use his powers to just pretty much do anything but now he's he more limits himself he more limits his, his his powers and kind of experiences life from a more natural way without without using it somewhat but the the really interesting highlight for this episode is this episode shows just how much progression just how much the friendship between discord and fluttershy has grown and it's a really beautiful, really sweet combination. And Discord wanted to have a tea party with Fluttershy, but he was used to he was used to Fluttershy's calm and calm and very soft, very natural uh, tea parties. He was used to the very they weren't boring, but he was used to the very to the very easy, very. <clears throat> uh, to the very calm tea parties that she would always have. And he realized that Fluttershy wasn't, or at least he thought, wasn't into the, his, what, to his, it, she wasn't into his lifestyle. She wasn't into that kind of thing. And so Fluttershy, and so Discord, he was so, he was, he was actually afraid that if, if Fluttershy realized how different that they were, that they had a different way of looking at things like that that he would lose her he would lose her her friendship and he didn't want to do that so he was willing to change his lifestyle to change his way of living change even the way he dressed the way he talked the, his whole personality just to make her happy and it's a really sweet thing now generally speaking most people probably tell you you know, a real friend will, will you know, <clears throat> and it's an interesting thing because real friends will, should like you for who you are. And even if there is a, even if there are differences between, between them, you agree to disagree and you don't let that drive a wedge between you. Now Discord here, again, he was so willing he was so he wanted to hold on to Fluttershy and her and her friendship so much that he was willing to change himself, and even to the point that he was willing to let himself fade into non-existence just to keep Fluttershy happy, just so that he would not lose her. That is devotion. I gotta say that is the true devotion right there. That is devotion. That. And, yeah, you could easily say it's selfishness on Discord's part because he was willing to change so much about himself in order to keep, in order to keep Fluttershy. But he, he loved her that much. He, and, and, I, and you could take that in either the platonic way or a romantic way. I'm sure, I mean, it's really interesting with the dynamic between Fluttershy and Discord. Um... Some people shift, uh, shift. Some people ship them as a couple. Some people ship them. I mean, don't ship them as a couple, but as friends. To me personally, <clears throat> I don't. Me myself, I don't look at Fluttershy and Discord as a couple. I just look at them as really close friends. Um, that's the way that I personally personally look at them. But I'm totally open to the interpretation of of uh, of a romance. There, I'm totally not against people's ideas on that. I'm like for me it can roll out of the way I just you know for me personally I just see them as friends but again you can still love your best friend and Fluttershy or sorry Discord wanted to hold on to Fluttershy and so he was willing to change many different aspects about himself his personality his lifestyle just so that Fluttershy would stay in, stay in his life and this really goes to show just how much that he values her, how much he values her friendship, how much he values her her companionship. He basically he told her that no one else gets him, no pony else gets him the way that she does. And he was afraid that he he, he was afraid of being of being alone. And Fluttershy was the first and the only real friend that he has. Mia, yeah, he knows the rest of the main six, but 
Fluttershy is the one real true friend that he has, and he wanted to hold on to her. He didn't want to lose that. And he, it's kind of interesting whenever you imagine what he feels, what he, um, what he feels in, in his heart, what he, or however many hearts that he has. He could be like Doctor Who and have two, or he could have more than that. I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but you can imagine that he possibly could harbor a fear that he could lose her and he would be he would be alone and we've seen before how mad how furious he gets whenever he thinks Fluttershy is in danger like whenever uh the crystalline happened at uh, whenever uh whenever uh whenever or sorry not the crystalline sorry no uh the changelings whenever they tried to take over and they kind of can't kind of, they pretty much succeeded, and Fluttershy was in danger, and Discord got raging mad. And again, further evidence to show he would go to the ends of the earth for her. He would do whatever he could to protect her, and he would do whatever he could to make her happy, even if it meant changing himself. And But again, like I said, other people would say, you know, you're not supposed to change yourself so much to try to make someone else happy because you're changing yourself just for someone else. And some people would say you're not supposed to do that, that real friends will accept you for who you are, real friends will like you for who that you are. And that's the other interesting way that this episode played out. Fluttershy did like Discord for who that he was. She liked him as he was. <clears throat> there was that difference there, but they had both, the dynamic between them was so realistic, so natural, and beautifully done. Fluttershy, originally, she did not look at things the way that Discord did, but he opened her up. She said that he did. He opened her up to so many possibilities, to so many impossibilities, exactly like she said. He opened her up to a different way of, lo of, of looking at things, a more chaotic way. Now, <clears throat> I'm not... Now, I know people are probably going to do fan art, do fan fiction that... Discord, that Fluttershy may become the Miss Discord, and Fluttershy will like chaos. Um, no. No, I mean, again, I'm totally interpretation, I'm totally open to people's different, in, to, I'm totally open to, to people's different inter, interpretations of that. But, for me, <clears throat> no. Fluttershy, Fluttershy likes, Fluttershy enjoys her life the way that it is. She enjoys things calm, but it's like she enjoys some excitement from time to time. And honestly, who can't relate to that? Who can't understand that? I mean, it's easy enough, and you know, you could have a sim you can have a sort of simple life with things just being simplistic, but you do not mind whatsoever. You actually ex happily accept whenever something exciting happens, because it spices things up. You don't want, <clears throat> and this much, I can easily relate to Fluttershy here, because it kind of seems sometimes, for my life, that it's kind of simplistic, but things, exciting things that happen, I'm totally, I'm totally open to, because it adds some spice. It's not that my life is boring like that, without those exciting things, <clears throat> but you but you're open to it. You're open to things like that that happen. And it's, I can easily, again, for me, I can understand both Fluttershy and Discord's perspectives here. And it was really cool because, again, Discord was willing to do whatever he could to hold on to Fluttershy. However, he didn't understand that Fluttershy liked him as he was. She... Yeah, she liked the typical calm atmosphere that her life nor she perf she loved the typical normal um, calm atmosphere that her life had. But she also loved that Discord was in her life and that he added a brand new spice. He added a brand new spice. It's kind of like having a cake, and there's one way to make the recipe, or there's a specific kind of food food that you like, and it tastes great one way. But then you add a little bit of spice or a, a different ingredient, and it makes it taste a little different. And it spices it up. 
you still like the you still like the original, but you also like the new way of the new way that it tastes as well. You like both. That's the situation here. Fluttershy likes having Discord in her life because he adds a new spice. He adds a new way of 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 he adds a brand new way of looking at things. He adds a new he adds some spice, some zest, and she likes that challenge. Like she likes that excitement. She likes the topsy turvy way that Discord does things. It's funny. She finds it funny. She finds it. She finds she finds it exciting. She finds it different. It's not that she would. I mean, obviously, I really don't think Fluttershy would prefer to completely live that lifestyle. She likes both. She likes the typical life that she lives. But she also likes that she also likes the way that Discord adds some spice, some zest into it. And again, like I said, it's like having two. It's like having two different of your favorite kinds of foods, or having a cake. One of them is the typical way, is the typical ingredient. The other one adds, uh, adds, adds a bit of spice. You like both, and you want to keep eating both. You're not, you don't want to choose one over the other. You want to, you want to keep both. And that's, I believe, is the the, the situation which is the the, 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 the the that I believe is the situation with the, the situation with Fluttershy here. Now, another interesting thing as well is that Discord was he was so determined to try to make sure that he kept Fluttershy in his life that he again he was willing to let himself fade into obscurity. Now this scared Fluttershy because obviously Discord was fading into nothingness and she had to think like him in order to help revive him basically to bring him back and since she's the one that knows him so well she understood his mentality she's been around him enough to know how he does things and how that his mind works and so she was able to tune herself into basically his into basically basically the frequency of his mind and she was able to read his mind and this is really cool because this is something that this shows again this is really ver this is really relatable to to best friends and I can relate to this because a friend of mine a, a friend of mine and I I watched this episode and I kind of thought about I kind of I actually thought about them and I and if if they're watching right now. Yes, I, I thought I thought about us here. Um, is that you? You can kind of read each other's minds. You know, whenever you're really close with someone like that, you can read each other's minds. You can you understand each other's personality. You can see something. You can hear something. You can read something, and you will think about the other because you will think they would like this or this is something that they would do this is something that they would say or you know what they would say or do in that situation even if they're not there you know what they would say or do you know how they are and I can I can relate to this because a friend of mine and I are like that and it's I and I and I absolutely love it and so again I can really relate I can understand fully discord and Fluttershy here they have that mental connection they they, they are so close <clears throat> that they understand each other's mental workings they understand how that each other works mentally and they understand they basically their brains are able to tune into each other's mental frequency and they're able to understand they're able to under they're able to understand one another and i love how that was portrayed here i love how realistic that it was because again my best friend and i i can relate to that i can relate to that um but i love how that that played out here and again it was realistic it was natural this isn't something that's made up. This is realistic. This is completely natural. And I love how that they did it. And it was really cute. It was really sweet. And Fluttershy was doing everything that she could because she wanted to hold on to on she wanted to hold on to Discord too. She didn't want him to fade away. She wanted to keep him. She wanted him to stay in her life. She he he's her best friend and she didn't want to lose him. And so she broke away from her natural kind of her natural state her natural way of doing things of being neat and organized to try I mean she was 
she broke away from that and kind of tried, tried to cause some a little bit of chaos herself just to bring discord back and again it further it goes to show that i mean how much both were willing to sacrifice and how much they were willing to do just to keep just to keep one another and again i love that dynamic i love it's so sweet it's so beautifully done it's so beautiful and i absolutely love it it's so cute it's so sweet and i absolutely adore it and fluttershy and she told discord that they are different but i mean it's really interesting. Fluttershy told Discord. Discord was, I mean, Discord was afraid that he was too different from Fluttershy, and Fluttershy acknowledged that she and Dis and Discord were different, but she liked that difference. And this is also very much relatable to real life because, like, even best friends, there's not always going to be a time whenever, I mean there's not always going to be a time whenever you are going to agree or feel the exact same way about something but the key is not to let that drive a wedge between you real friends will let bygones be bygones respect each other's differences and can and move on and still be friends S still be tight still be close and that was Fluttershy and the discord here and and in fact this little moment actually actually made them closer because even though there is a difference between them, Discord said that no pony, no pony gets them, and because Discord likes chaos, that's what he's about. And as we found out in this episode, which is which is interesting, that he has to live in that chaos in order for him to stay alive. And Fluttershy understands that. She understands his mentality. She understands that he is about chaos, and she doesn't mind a little bit of a little bit of disharmony. Or well, okay, not disharmony. She doesn't mind a little bit of disorganization of of uh, a little bit of chaos herself, so long as it's tame and it doesn't hurt. As long as it doesn't hurt. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone. But she doesn't mind it. She does. She doesn't mind it. And yeah, I, I yeah, I guess you could say that. You know, other that even the rest of the main six will probably wonder, would probably think you've been around Discord too long. Um, but Fluttershy understands Discord, and she understands herself. She understands that she likes Discord, and she wants she wants to be his friend. She wants to she wants to be his friend. She wants him she wants him to be her friend. She wants them to be together. And she wants them to hang out together, have tea parties, and she likes that. She likes that little bit of chaos that he. She likes that craziness that he brings into 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 her life because it spices it up. It's different. It's a it's a departure from the typical, from the mundane, and it adds a new challenge, a new road, a new path to travel down, and so. But she understands him. She understands them. She understands him and herself. She understands the both of them. And she wants Discord to still be a part of her life. And this was a really cute episode. And again, it shows that connection between them. It shows how much that Discord... I mean, he was willing to change so much about himself to try to keep Fluttershy in his life. And Fluttershy, she already understood him. She under, already understood his, She understood how he worked mentally, how he thought, his, his thought process and everything. And she understood that enough to, that she was able to use that to help bring him back. And this was a really, really cute episode. A really sweet episode. And I love how this dynamic played out. And this was, again, it was really cute. And in the ending as well with Fluttershy and Discord just sitting there and like just in this sort of this cha this chaotic thing here and Fluttershy was totally comfortable in Discord's home she didn't feel out of place she felt at home in his home even though she was hanging upside down from the ceiling and it was very cute like she loved she loved the way that he decorated she loved she loved the look and again it was different and I can easily understand that I mean, you don't mind 
seeing things typical, seeing things on a what could be considered a normal scale, but you also don't mind it whenever you see something that is a that is a departure, something that's unique, something that stands out, and something that just screams, "Hey, look at me!" You like it as well, and so that's again, I can easily relate to that here. And so this was a very this for me personally, this was a very 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 relatable episode. I could relate to both Fluttershy and Discord here, both on the friendship that they have and their 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 understandings of the, their their understandings of their understandings of of each other. And I could also understand uh Discord wanting to try to hold on to Fluttershy and I like how much that he cared for her, how much that he cared for their friendship, that he wanted to do whatever that he could to hold on to it. And I could also understand Fluttershy's interest in having that little bit of zest, having that spice added to her life. And so again, this was a really natural, really realistic episode. And it was very cute, it's very sweet. There's so much Fluttershy adorableness in this. And there's so much also, little little bitty tiny things that just really makes this episode stand out. Again, Fluttershy is just so cute in this. And we also see further use of Discord. I mean, we see the typical Discord craziness here. But it was also cute to see Fluttershy like gently like gently holding holding a teacup with her little hooves and then that moment whenever and we see the randomness with Discord of the sheep out of nowhere. And the water faucet just hanging from nowhere, and just how that worked. And again, we see that little moment, and I love that little moment when her Fluttershy like lifts her teacup up, and then Discord just pops in, and Fluttershy almost drops. And you see that little moment where 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 Fluttershy like fumbles with her teacup. It's really cute. It's a tiny little thing, but it's adorable, and I love it. And then that moment whenever Discord is also communicating with himself, he's talking to himself, I do that. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I probably should be, but I'm not. Some people do it. Okay. But Discord is talking to himself, literally. And he's talking to the more logical side, side of his brain. And it's interesting because he's like, you have two different sides here. You have the more logical side you have the more sort of down to earth logical speaking side of his mind and then you have the worried um, more spontaneous side and they're kind of clashing but the spontaneous side is trying to listen to what the logical side has to say and it's a very interesting dynamic there it's very interesting to see that that he's actually doing that um, and then I, and then whenever it gets to that segment, whenever Discord is in that first little shop, again, that pony behind the ca the ca the counter there, the, the plum color pony, I love her design, uh, and I uh, love her voice as well. Very cute, very cute, love her design. And I really like this little shop. I really like this little shop. There's a lot of detail here. Um, the little signs above with all that, with all the straight lines, and, you know, like for lettering, uh, wording, things like that. I really like this shop. It has a nice, soft, rustic charm to it. The little candelabra on in the back on the wall. This makes me think of those old-timey little stores where those old-timey little shops. And um, there was a a store um, that used to be open uh, years ago. Uh, it closed down several years ago. Uh, no, not several years ago. It closed down. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. Um, it was called uh, it it was it was this old fashioned style store. It it was called Dixie Pottery, and I remember they sold uh, some diecast cars. They were mostly the 118 scale, but they sold pretty much everything. They they sold candles, um, uh, pine like they sold pine scented candles, cinnamon candles. Um, they sold toys. They sold. Uh, like the artificial plants, ferns, uh, flowers, things like that. Um, they sold uh, quite a lot of stuff. 
And I, I remember growing up, I used to call it the old timey store because every time you walked in, you smelled, you smelled those sweet scented cinnamon candles. And this is kind of, this is this makes me think of that. Like I can just imagine walking into the shop, and it's just a very soft, very soothing atmosphere. Uh, she's working behind 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 the counter you have the nice candles giving a nice soft soft flicker and maybe I mean like you can smell uh, you can smell these these sweet scented herbs these uh, these er these herbal ingredients maybe cinnamon and things like that um, you can just smell that and it just fills your senses and it's it's soothing and it's relaxing and that's what I get whenever I look inside this shop and again I love the design for it the like how it's all made how it's made of of wood and the hardwood there's no big flashy things like that there's no big flashy designs it's a very nice rustic simplistic design and I love it for that and yet I love this character's design and I like that little scarf that she's wearing or like the little bandana or like handkerchief hang handkerchief that she's wearing very cute um, and then again discord puts on an outfit that makes me think of Michael Jackson I know he wore it once before in uh, I think the pretty much the guys night out episode with him and him and Big Mac and Spike but again uh, the, the zoot suit but again I like it makes me think of Michael Jackson and beat it or smooth criminal more smooth criminal but again, I, 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 and then that little, uh, that little rhythm that those tea bags, those ginseng, sing, singing tea bags were singing. I'm surprised that I did not get tongue tied there. Very, very sweet actually. And then Discord, tr his face turn transforms and imitate this one pony again. Very hilarious. And then whenever he's in the, in this other little shop, and we see this other character here. Uh, I, again, I love her design. I love in this little tea shop. Again, I love her design. I love her voice. Very cute. Again, I can't wait. I can't wait to see artwork of her too. Um, and again, I love the I love the soft design for the shop. It's got um, the stone floor. It looks like it's got like a stone floor. But again, it makes me think of those little an antique based stores. That there was an, an, another store that I used to go to. Uh, Carolina Pottery, action. Uh, I think it was Carolina Pottery, and again they sold like things for the home. Uh, they didn't really, they didn't really sell furniture, but again that's also another. Um, there was a furniture store that used to be in business back years ago too. That I can't remember the name of it though. Um, Hollig Myers, that was it. Hollig Myers, um, and I remember walking in, and it was very soothing. It was very, very very calm atmosphere uh, it was a furniture store but oh man I remember walking in there there was no music that played I don't I don't remember there being music that played if there was it was very soft very soft like like uh, like orchestration music or or like orchestrational but it was um, I don't believe there was any, any music that, that that actually played but Again, this I love. I love the design for this shop as well because it has a nice, rustic, soothing atmosphere. It's not again. There's nothing big and flashy going on. It's a very soft, very very like a little small shop. Um, and I love how that looks. You know, I really love how that looks. It makes you think about, um, back years ago, <laughs> a time where I was not born. Um, I guess go back to the 1950s maybe the 1960s those those old um, mom and pop stores where you walk in and it's it, it it's a small little shop but it's but it's home you walk in you feel comfortable uh, the person there knows you you know them and this 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 is what makes me think of this and I'm really glad that they did this for these two shops because again I love the design I love how that I love already like the feel of inside of these shops. It really looks great, and I love it. And again, whenever all those bits just land there, again, it, it, it makes me think about. Um, it makes me think about whenever Uncle, whenever Scrooge had the pile of money on his desk in Mickey's Christmas Carol. 
that's what it made me think of. And again, we see Lyra talking to this other fella over here on the side. And I think we've seen her talking to the stallion before. So, very cute. Very interesting for that. And also, uh, I'm surprised there was not a Mrs. Potts reference with Discord and the flying teapot. Surprised there was not that. We see Lemon Drops there walking, and then we see Derpy talking to, I think, Daisy. And then we see these, these pinatas. And like I said, these made me think about Viva Pinata. Uh, it was, there was a video game and a TV show. I never watched them. But I remember seeing, like, advertisements for them. There was uh, some show that I did watch on TV, and it would come on after Viva Pinata. I can't remember what it was, but it was a show that used to come on, and I, it would come on after Viva Pinata. And I would have to, like, I would end up watching... I remember watching the last couple of minutes of a couple of the episodes while I was waiting to for whatever other show that I wanted to watch to come on. I never watched the show completely. I never had 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 an interest in it. But again, this makes me think of that. And we're back inside of the shop. And again, it, it's really interesting whenever... And again, that little pinata is cute. And the voice is cute as well. Very cute. And something to notice with... Uh, with the shelf here. Just the layout for how everything is. You have pinatas, lava lamps, party hats, napkins, uh, those little snakes that you can put into canisters, like peanut canisters and such. All together. I mean, this is party supplies, obviously. But, wow, it's just kind of mixed up. And I really love that glow effect on those napkins whenever they begin to glow. I love that effect. I love that soft glow around those. I really love that effect. That's really good. And it's very soft, and I like it. I really like that texture. I, I really like that look. And um, I don't. it kind of, like, the way that it was stacked right there, it kind of made me think about a processor. And it was also interesting, pink, Discord running into Pinky. And it was interesting dynamic right here. You have Discord, who normally would just be completely crazy and would just be doing his own thing, but here he's actually consulting Pinky, the part, the go-to party pony. And it was very interesting dynamic to see that. It was very, very interesting. And again, the effect of the light bulb glow around Discord, very good, very, very good. And it's also interesting to see Discord actually with the little bitty shopping cart. And then, again, I really love the effect around Discord's house, the swirls in the background. Uh, I, really love, I really love that look. They did a really great job with that, too. And I really love how that, that looks. And it made me think about the Ghost Zone from Danny Phantom. Um, and, again, Discord's house, really interesting. I love the lava, little lava mountain thing there. I like that. We see, like, a pop corn lamp or something that's unique i like the purple swirl pool that looks cool and then we have the musical note chair i like that that actually kind of makes you think about something that you might could have gotten in animal crossing um in one or all of the a animal crossing games like a musical note chair or something and like like i can totally see that they that there's three different places on uh, on where you can sit down like there's the middle and the sides or like the edges and then if you sit down, you hear a different note play every time. I mean, for all three sections that you sit on. And then we have a broom with a star with, like, a wizard's hat on top of it. Now, th there's two different things that comes to mind whenever I see this. One, it makes me think of Fantasia, the magic broom. And we have the the hat that Master Yin Sid wore. And it also makes me think about, in this, in the MLP universe, um... Star Swirl, the bearded, and so it brings to mind. It makes me think of an interesting question: At, Does Discord know Star Swirl, the bearded, or did he know him? Interesting theory. Um, and again, it was interesting. Uh, Discord summoning multiple versions of himself, and again, that that music that kind of began to play whenever 
right whenever his other selves first showed up, again, it kind of made me think about the music in Fantasia. And then Discord begins to straighten up everything. Um, I had to go back and check. Um, what I had to check on was the stamp on the package that Discord sent. There was two round edges and then a split. I honestly thought that was like a Mickey icon, like the Mickey icon stamp, but it, but it's actually a heart, which is interesting. It's kind of like a purple heart. Um, but again, and then the interesting thing as well, Discord, um, whenever he changes his house, and whenever he begins to change his outfit. Now, the first outfit that he comes out in, I don't know why. It kind of makes me think about um, something from The Count of Monte Cristo. I don't know why, but it just kind of does with his outfit. I know that that might be a reference to something else, and if it is, someone please point it out in the comments. But I do like it. And then we see Discord, and we see all the other Discords with freaking cell phones, man. With, like, I don't know, Samsungs or Blackberries or something. I don't know. Like, I don't know which phone's which, really. I'll just go by mine. But, again, I mean, those are plain cell phones, man. Those are cell phones. You got the glowing screens. You got the little icon at the top for the camera. Those are freaking cell phones. Freaking cell phones in Equestria. Now, of course, yes, it's Discord, I know. But, oh, my gosh, Discord has that technology. Discord has that technology. He knows of this technology. This is a thing. Cell phones. <laughs> Cell phones. Okay. I, 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 and again, I think this is freaking cool. I think this is freaking cool. I think it's interesting to be able to see that modern technology there. And then Discord, then Discord comes out in the typical rapper style, you know, with all the bling bling. Uh, multiple necklaces, hat turned sideways, trying to look cool, pants that come down half, like come down to your knees, showing your boxers. I never was into the whole rap scene. I, I never was. And again, like we, you, you see Discord texting, like he's looking at his phone. I can't believe I'm saying that, and he's texting. He's probably on Discord. <laughs> He's probably using Discord. That would be funny. Um, he's pro he probably using Twitter. Um, and then he comes out looking like, um, what, King Henry VIII or something? He comes out with, I, I mean, I like the outfit. I do. Um, with this, like, vintage royal outfit. I like it. I do. Um... And then he comes out in this other outfit that it doesn't show. And then he's getting a haircut. And at first he has like Fluttershy's hair, which is interesting. And then he has this other hair that makes me think of Elvis. And then this other hair. This is probably a reference to something with the bee sticking out of it. I know it's not a reference to Winnie the Pooh, but you know, it kind of been funny if they had have painted the mustache pink on Discord, then you could have said he's Discord Plier, or like Mark Accord, you know, like Mark Plier and Discord, that would kind of been funny. Uh, and then that costume, that costume, I'm not even going to question that, but Again, okay, I guess Discord will probably wear that to one of the conventions, I guess. And then again and then again, Discord wearing like the glasses with his hair like slicked back. And again, the Fluttershy was so cute in this episode. And whenever she's actually there in the realm of chaos and then, whenever she's kind of disappointed by the mundane appearance of, Flutter, of Discord's home, and she was expecting something more exciting, something different, something more Discord, and she didn't really get it, and so she thought it was kind of different, it was kind of weird. And 
again, very, very cute how the, the little things right here actually did. Um, and then, like, whenever it's it, it's very cute, Fluttershy, like, her wings kind of fluffed up whenever she was started making a mention about the crazy things that could happen and she was like like it was very cute to see Fluttershy excited about seeing something that Discord would actually create. It was adorable to see that. It it was a different side of her, but it was really, really cute. And I I really, really liked it. And then this moment whenever after I mean like whenever they whenever they sit down and they're just kind of talking. I love how this scene has no music playing. I love how there's just no music playing, and whenever the characters aren't talking, you hear like a sound. Uh, now, that could just be in the video itself, but I like would like to believe is that it's supposed to be like the wind outside blowing. But again, I love how this scene has no music. It's just them talking. I love that. It's natural, and it adds a very realistic tone, and I really love how that handles. It's really, really good. And then... Whenever Fluttershy begins begins to see the things that our Discord doing, and then another thing is is Fluttershy's dialogue here. I love her dialogue whenever she's pointing out that Discord is not acting like himself, and Fluttershy isn't exactly shy in that way. Like she's being pretty bold, being pretty blunt with it. Um, it's kind of again. It's kind of different. It's it's quite different actually than Fluttershy in the beginning. Like in the beginning, in the earlier seasons, Fluttershy would have just kind of been like meekly, "Oh, okay," but here she's just being blunt about it, and I love it. And again, it further shows as well. It, it's a it, it's another little thing, but it, again, it further shows Fluttershy's development as well, like how she's developed over the seasons and. She's more open, like she's more she's more herself around uh, around Discord. She's not really afraid to say afraid to say to say anything. She's just herself. She's able to be herself and just be open. And I and I and I really really like that. I really do. I love it. I really love it. And then whenever Flourish I realizes that Discord is just disappearing, he's vanishing, and you see that fear on her face like she doesn't want him to go and so she tries to get him to go back to his normal self and at this point I'm not really sure here there's two different theories for this I'm not sure if if discord is still acting in that he is still just trying to be normal so that he so that Fluttershy won't think there's too much of a difference between them or if if or if he's actually beginning to actually think like this like he's acting like this and he's actually beginning to feel this he's actually beginning to act like this and he actually has no control over it i'm not sure which one is which uh, i guess it could be left up to interpretation it could be that he's still acting um just so that Fluttershy won't think there's too much of a difference between them, and he's willing to make himself suffer and even disappear, um, which is interesting. But uh, again, because it's again, you say it's selfish. Like he's willing to make himself fade into into nothing, just so that he can keep Fluttershy flu, just just so that he can keep just so that he can keep Fluttershy's friendship. But to be completely honest, again, I can relate to that. I mean, like, I can understand. I can understand what Discord is doing here. I can't. Um, but again, it was really cool whenever we get got to see Fluttershy kind of, kind of acting out of her what was like her normal thing, uh, eating the edges of the sandwiches, and just her actually talking with the puffy cheeks, and then then like I said, Discord might have also been acting in that way, and that he just kind of felt boring himself, and he just kind of began to feel that way. And so Fluttershy grabs multiple things, including an, a freaking real, real toaster. A toaster that plugs into a wall outlet, which or which we see over here, the outlet. And so, yeah. And so, yeah. And then we see these other little moments, like Fluttershy standing on her hind legs to push. And, and again, like she's using her front hooves to hold on to the teacups and move things around. She's using, I mean, she's standing up on her hind legs 
to move. I mean, like she's actually using her rear hind legs like we would use. And so, if, again, it's interesting at how they're kind of, in this particular episode as well, they're kind of putting a bit of the emphasis that the hind legs are like a human's actual legs and feet, and the forelegs are like the arms and wrists and hands. And so very, very, very good on that nature. And, again, really, really loved this episode. It was very cute. It was very fun. And it was re really cool to see Discord kind of toning himself down to Fluttershy's level, both because he was interested in that, and he also wanted to do it just to keep Fluttershy in, in his life. And it was also interesting to see Fluttershy in a normal, you know, shy, in a normal, uh, you know, sweet, innocent Fluttershy self, but also her opening her her being more open to the chaos that Discord was actually about. And again, I love that dynamic, how Discord was willing to tone himself down to try to keep Fluttershy's friendship, and how Fluttershy, uh, how Discord had actually opened Fluttershy's own mind up to, to that chaos, and how she didn't really mind it, how she didn't mind it whatsoever, and she was, she, she liked the excitement, and it, it was a thrill for her and so I really love how this played out like they they had actually unintentionally they they had opened each other's minds they had opened up each other's minds to a different way of looking at things to a different viewpoint and it was they had each accepted the way that each other had had opened their minds Discord had opened Fluttershy's mind to the po to possibilities and impossibilities to that chaos, and she liked it. Fluttershy had opened Discord's mind up to friendship, and he liked it. And they were learning from each other. They were working off each other. They were building on each other and themselves. They were they were growing closer and are growing closer because they understand each other so well. And they're able to help each other because they understand each other. And again, I love how realistic and natural that that is. It's really cute. It's really sweet. And again, this was a really adorable and fun episode with Discord and Fluttershy. I really, really loved it. It was adorable. It was fun. It was sweet. And it was just so freaking cute. I loved it. I really loved it. And so, again... That was my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, uh, I want to—I re really want to thank everybody that worked on this episode. Ooh, man, it's hot in here. And again, I really want to thank everybody that worked on this episode. It's this is a very cute, very fun episode. Um, it's ver uh, uh, again, it's cute, it's fun, it's sweet, and it's realistic. It's realistic. It's natural, and I love that. It's so cute. Thank you to everybody at Hasbro and DHX. Thank you all so much. Everybody that worked on this episode, again, I, 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 love, I love the writing. I love how I love the dialogue. I love the characters' actions. I love the little animations with the characters as well, the characters' dialogue. I really adore this episode. It's very cute. It's very sweet. <sighs> and so, again, thank you so much to everybody at Hasbro, DHX. Thank you all so much for this really cute, very beautiful episode. Thank you all so much. This was a real treat. Real, really cute. And um, also want to thank everybody as well for joining me. Uh, again, apologize that it took so long for me to do this episode. But anyway, I hope it was worth the wait. And again, thank you guys again for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, anything you want to say in regard to it, please let me know in the comments below. And again, thank you guys for again for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next video that I do. Take care.